eating an apple. It's 4.59 p.m. Starting the vlog a little later today because I'm trying to keep it a little, little shorter. I'm now caught up from editing from the camping trip. Feels great. And uh, go check that out yesterday's vlog out. I think you'll enjoy it. Little uh, drone measurements and shout out to the uh, Henzi Army. So, basically, going to keep this shorter and um, just work here at the patio all night. That's true love. It's cooking dinner inside. Thank you. Thanks, son. But I'm going to zip up to the swamp cooler. Yes, inspect it. I have a suspicion that the leak is not quite gone. Not quite gone. Close, but not quite. Let's go look. So the 9 volt battery died in the microphone, so this is going to sound really tinty and not so good. Tinny. Tinty? Tinny. Big moment, though. Big moment. What did you do, Seth? I got poo poo blood. You got. Not for you. Seth, good job. Da -na -na -na. Let Seth guys. Pick. Yeah, just let one, buddy. Just one. What is that? That's a sugar oh, cookie. Goodness. Seth, it's a chocolate. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> What'd you get? You. Why'd you get that? Why did you get it? Why did you get a candy bar? But but what did you just do in the potty? Um, poop. <laughs> Got the batteries. Got the batteries. So this is just audio from the camera. Okay. So I go with Carousel instead of Energizer. Hopefully they're not owned by the same company. Like everything else in the world. No? Oh, green light. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Just so you know, uh, I know you're probably getting sick of me talking about the swamp cooler, but uh, when I left for, there's water in the swamp cooler right now, and when I left for work this morning, there was a little leak onto the floor. But now, there's nothing, and there's still water in the pan right now as we speak. Now, it is not on because it's not very hot out right now. So once again, it's like just a little bit of a mystery. Why is it leaking part of the day and not other times of the day? I do not know. But I think we have slowed the leak. That stuff that I sprayed on a couple days ago, I think we have slowed it. Um, so we're just going to keep fighting. Now I'm going to go up on the roof now. I, I just don't see anywhere in here where the leak is at because now it's dry. Anyway, here it's, it's is the water line. And then here's another line and another line. So I'm wondering if at its peak it was this high last night before it shut off with the bobber thing. But I, I think the water is getting in somewhere right over here in that corner. I think this is the culprit area. But man, as you can see, I have sealed it three or four times. So. I I am actually going to drain it again, let it dry, and give it another shot. So. Listen, folks. All right, I'm up on my roof, enjoying the sunset, soaking in some clouds, capturing it for you down on the yard. I'll show that to you in a second. Guys, be not afraid of the short vlog. I'm a little concerned by some people who keep talking about how they're scared or have a little anxiety when they don't have enough footage for their daily video, their daily upload. Listen people, that's life. I didn't start this vlog till 4.59 p.m. was it? It's like, listen, if you can't film the entire day, that's okay. If the vlog turns into three minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, whatever, that's okay. I remember having those anxious thoughts in my mind when I was just starting out on the YouTube. It took me maybe 150 vlogs before I realized like, wait a minute, I'm just filming my life. Why force it? Why, why create 
something that's not real and authentic just to fulfill a 10 minute video or a 20 minute video. I mean, some YouTubers like every single video is 13, 15, 18 minutes. And I'm like, listen people, you're pressing a little bit here. Now, I have seen the pendulum swing the other way as well. I've seen YouTubers go start out and say, I'm gonna f upload a new video for 365 days, no matter what. And that's a, that's a uh, commendable goal, but then they realize how hard it is, how difficult it is, and they begin to digress. So they start out with the six minute, eight minute, 10 minute, 12 minute vlogs that are really high quality with good B-roll, they're entertaining to watch, you're not bored while you're watching them, and then they slip to the six, to the five, to the three, to the two. I've seen it happen. I've... All I'm saying is like this vlog today, probably gonna be about five to six minutes is my guess, maybe seven, which is on the shorter end of my vlogs. Usually they're about seven to 10 minutes, roughly, roughly. Don't put yourself in a box saying, I've gotta hit five minutes. I've gotta hit seven minutes. I've gotta hit 12 minutes. Don't put yourself in that box simply live life huh how about we just live life people enjoy life a little as my uncle would say let's enjoy life a little okay yeah! like it's youtube it's youtube all right come on youtube shouldn't dictate our happiness our joy our inner peace our anxiety that it might create so create but don't force it is my tip of the day my thought of the day and uh that is my question of the day if you are a YouTuber or, or a vlogger or what, you know, if you're a creator, do you feel like you have to force it at times when it comes to creating uh, media? And if you do, like, why is that and how do you overcome it? That's the question of the day. So that's my little riff. I'm just riffing with you and as I enter into the 450th vlog on this channel, whatever, I, you know, whatever we're at, somewhere in the 450s. So I love you all. Keep, keep. Keep filming, keep editing, keep seeking beauty, keep loving each other. Don't let YouTube get in the way of that love. And uh, and work hard in the process. Work hard in the process. I think I reversed those, but that's okay. <sighs>